Welcome everyone to Tate Modern. Um, I'm going to give a brief introduction to this conference on the work of Mira Shendo, and uh, we'll then start the, uh, the first session. Uh, this conference has been organized in the light of the forthcoming exhibition on the work of uh, the Brazilian artist Mira Shendo, uh, which uh, is going to be curated by Tanya Barson at Tate Modern and uh, Thaisa Palhares uh, from, from the Pinacoteca do Estado de São Paulo in, in Brazil. The exhibition is due to open to the public in 2013, initially at Tate Modern, and subsequently, subsequently uh, traveling to the Museum of Fine Arts in Houston, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, later to the Pinacoteca do Estado, in, uh, and it will open there in 2014. Unlike the usual format of holding a conference um, as a kind of fait accompli uh, during the actual run of the show, this event is held in advance so that contributions and the discussions that will ensue um, uh, during the course of these two days uh, might actually contribute to the cur curatorial vision and also inform uh, the exhibition catalogue. So very much a kind of research uh, uh, in the making, uh, informing the, um, the conference, enriching uh, the overall um, research uh, behind the exhibition. Given, given this emphasis on, on research, the, um, the transnational background of the artist and the complex uh, position that Mira Shendo holds within Brazilian modern and contemporary arts, I'm particularly delighted to have been involved in the organization process uh, of this conference through the participation of the Research Centre for Transnational Arts, Identity and Nation at the University of the Arts London. I would like to thank, in this respect, uh, Nick Tatchell, our research administrator, for his uh, hard work and enthusiasm. Um, at Tate, uh, Hannah Dewa, I hope I'm pronouncing your name properly, and uh, also at Tate, uh, Tanya Barson, for proposing the partnership uh, in the first place. The art of uh, Mirashendo evades art historical paradigms and challenges our uh, understanding of the development of avant-garde practices in Brazil from the mid-20th century onwards. Shendo was born in Zurich in 1919, but following her parents' separation, moved early on in life to Milan uh, with her mother. Of Jewish origin, she fled to Bulgaria in uh, 1941 uh, in order to escape the onslaught of fascism. She arrived in Porto Alegre in the south of Brazil in 1949 when she began making art, later moving to Sao Paulo in 1953. I mentioned these brief biographical notes not only as a, mean of a means of introducing the artist, uh, but also as an example of how Mira Schendel evades uh, presumptions. As a self-taught artist, one would assume that the turbulent times she experienced prior to her arrival in Brazil would become apparent or perhaps expressed in one form or the other within her work. Yet, the artist herself seldom, as far as I know, uh, and I'm not a specialist on, on Mira Shendo, the artist seldom uh, referred to her past either verbally or in writing. And um, if such experiences informed the work as formative or perhaps traumatic experiences uh, most certainly do. They did so in such a way, uh, in such a profound manner, that it becomes impossible to specify. In a sense, this evasiveness of, of meaning, or perhaps more precisely, uh, this abstractedness of her created thought, would be present even in her most figurative work. Shando escapes the entrenched theoretical and aesthetic positions that defined the 1950s and that would inform much of, uh, of, of the most innovative work um, of, uh, throughout the 1960s in Brazil. And, and when, I, when I mention entrenched, entrenched positions, um, I'm thinking of the controversies around the, um, the, the, the first edition of the Sao Paulo Biennial in 1951, when uh, kind of, there was a kind of a controversy um, led by, by the kind of Marxist-oriented artist against the idea of abstraction, kind of claiming that it was a kind of imported imperialist um, kind of uh, art form. And later on, uh, towards the end of the 1950s, the, the, the kind of 
disagreements between uh, concrete art and, and uh, what became uh, neo-concrete art. So, so Schendel kind of navigated through this period uh, without uh, becoming partisan uh, within, within these um, kind of uh, entrenched positions. Her work was in this sense neither overtly figurative nor abstract, and later did not adhere to the idea of what has become known as the um, dematerialization of the art object, nor in any overt manner to the omnipresence of mass culture in the 1960s. It did, however, relate to all these tendencies, often simultaneously. I'm sure that the sense of this simultaneity of interest and practice will become apparent over the course of this conference. In this first panel, we have three papers by distinguished curators and art historians. Tanya Barson will open the session with an overview of the curatorial project uh, for the exhibition, Mira Schendel, Being in the World. She is uh, followed by Professor Bryony Fair who will investigate how Schendel's work, particularly through the use of letter sets, um, relates to the historicization of, of abstraction and, and all the kind of myth, uh, mythology that, that ensued around um, uh, abstraction. And our third speaker this morning, uh, Dr. Isabel Whiteleg, will discuss Schendel and the intellectual milieu in Sao Paulo, particularly through the figure of the physicist and art critic Mario Schoenberg who became a regular interlocutor and occasional writer on the artist's work. Following all three presentations, uh, we will hold a discussion when we will invite questions and comments uh, from, from the audience. So I'll, I'll introduce each speaker at a time. Um, so first we have uh, Tanya Barson, who is a curator of international art at Tate Modern. She is co-curator of the forthcoming Mira Schendel retrospective exhibition organized by Tate and uh, the Pinacoteca do Estado, as I've already mentioned. Um, she has curated uh, exhibitions, including Frida Kahlo at Tate Modern in 2005, Inverting the Map, Latin American Art from the Tate Collection, Tate Liverpool, 2006, Oitisica in London, Tate Modern, 2007, Afro-Modern, Journeys Through the Black Atlantic in Tate Liverpool, uh, 2010, and the Peripatetic School itinerary, Itinerant uh, Drawing from Latin America at the Drawing Room in London, uh, 2011. So, Tanya, could you please? Uh, thank you very much. 